In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create an implement type library of application code manager. A quick overview on the library types. Library objects can be classified into asset type libraries and implement type libraries. An asset type library has content like add-on instruction definition, data type, HMI faceplate and reference manual. These are the content that are required to be instantiated only once in a project. An implement type library contains implementation code of the add-on instruction and HMI implementation like navigation button. The asset type library is linked to implement library as link libraries. In ACM, the user can choose to instantiate only the asset library or both implement and asset library. While instantiating in a project, an asset library is required to be instantiated only once, whereas the implement library can be instantiated depending on number of instances of implementation required in the project. Having separate asset and implement type library gives freedom to user to create own implement library to suit requirements. User can create an implement type library linked to a single or many assets. While updating the contents like add-on instruction or faceplate, user need to only update the asset type library. The implement library remains unchanged and gets the updated add-on instruction or faceplate from the asset library. For the demo, I'll create an implement type library object for valve when instantiating in ACM, the implement library will add an instance of valve add-on instruction and create the instance tag. The user will have the choice to link the output energized parameter to a digital channel or digital output module or create a tag after generating the ACD file. The rung can be instantiated in a new routine or an existing routine. For HMI, the implement library will generate navigation object with parameter connections configured. User will have the choice of generating a default or a detailed navigation object. I have already included the add-on instruction, data type, faceplate and reference manual in the asset library and it's published in ACM. First, I'll show how to prepare the logics code I have added a program and named it as RAMLD valve, which is same as the library name. The LD means the implementation code will be in ladder form. This is the routine where the instance of RAM device valve instruction will be added. The main routine contains jump subroutine to the routine name routine. I'll open the routine name routine. Here I have an instance of valve add-on instruction. The tag is named as underscore instance name with description as underscore instance description. The output OE has a text as underscore instance output name. This is only a text and no tag is created. This parameter will be connected to a digital channel or a digital output module in ACM. So no tag is created. If user still wants to create a tag instead of linking to a digital channel or a digital module, then the same can be created after the code is generated from ACM. In decoration, a text or a tag with underscore as prefix means it will be substituted, which means the name will be replaced by deriving from a parameter or a function or from another object. The implement rung have a comment that it's inserted by library object Right click on the controller and launch the library designer. The library designer is now opened. In the inclusions, uncheck the add dependency and add children. This allows user to manually add the dependencies that are needed to be part of the library. To identify the dependencies that will be needed in the library, enable the show dependency option. You can notice the asset type library RAM device valve is already decorated. It is not mandatory to have both asset and implement in the same logics file. 
click on the create a new library button enter the name of library in catalog number field i'll name the library as ramld valve enter the description these fields help to create a folder hierarchy in acm the solution comes at top followed by the library type and then the category for this example i'll enter the category as valve so i can group all valve related libraries the library type as device so all device related libraries can be grouped and solution as mbl demo the content type is to be selected as routine as we are only inserting a routine implementation enter the default name and description of the instance when instantiating this library in acm click okay to close the dialog now we will add the logics content into the library this window shows the content of logix file from where we launch the library designer drag and drop the main routine and the routine name into the library now the main routine and routine name routine is inserted you can notice this rung is grayed out which means this is still not part of the library right click on the same and select add Similarly do the same for main routine also for the instance name tag you can notice the rm device val and string data type are also grayed out but we are not going to include these as this will be inserted by the asset library i'll go to the main page in the parameters first i'll add a parameter for routine name click on the add button name the parameter as routine name enter the help text the data type can be left as string the default value is linked to the object name which means the routine name will be same as the object instance name click on the browse button go to the predefined tab double click on the object name click okay i'll group this parameter under 00 general leave the rest of the parameters as default and click okay now we have our parameter for routine name similar way i'll enter the parameter for tag name This is the parameter where the valve instance tag name can be entered or left as default. For a tag name, the default will be underscore object name. The next parameter I'll enter is for output unpowered state. since we want this parameter to be a drop down list i'll select the control type as drop down list i have entered the control values as normally open and normally close click okay the next parameter is for output energized the reference type is selected as reference as this parameter will be reference to a digital channel or digital module
I'll set the filter condition so when selecting the reference only digital channels or digital modules will be shown in the list. In the expression, I have entered the filter conditions as the library catalog number can be either RAMLD digital channel or RAMFB digital channel or process digital output library or the library type can be module with sub object type as digital output. Click on validate to validate the expression. Click OK. Click OK. The last parameter is for HMI object callout selection. Here I have a drop down list with two options as default or two state valve. Click OK. Now we have all the parameters added. Next I will go to the functions tab. Here I will add a function to translate the unpowered state selection into a number. Currently the unpowered state selection is in string format as normally open or normally close. But the data type in configure unpowered state parameter in val is boolean. So we need a function to translate this string selection into a boolean. To add a function click on the add button. I will name the function as fn underscore unpowered state. The type as conditional. The result type can be left as boolean. In the if condition, I will enter the expression. If the output unpowered state selection is equal to normally closed, then a value of 1 is returned. Else, value of 0 is to be returned. Click OK. I will link this function to the configure unpowered state parameter. Select the instance name tag. Expand the tag. Here you can see configure unpowered state parameter. Right click on the same and select add edit expression. Go to the functions tab. Double click on the function. Click OK. Now we have linked the function unpowered state to the configure unpowered state parameter. Thus the parameter output unpowered state will have a drop down list to select normally open or normally closed. This string value will get translated into a boolean by the function unpowered state and finally passed on to configure unpowered state parameter of value instance. The next step is to replace the instance name, routine name and link to the respective parameters for which I will open the substitution tab. Click on the add new button. In the original I will enter the instance name. The replacement I will select the parameter as tag name. Click OK. The instance description is derived from the object description. Now we have added all the substitutions. I will go back to the routine name and show you the changes. You can notice the routine name is now replaced by routine name parameter. 
the instance name is replaced by the tag name parameter and output energized with output energized parameter. Same here, the tag name and object description. Next, I will set the inclusion conditions. The inclusion conditions are used to decide if a tag or rung or any library component should be instantiated or not. For example, a part of the implement code and tag can be instantiated depending on a parameter selection. Click on the main routine. Select the rung. Note the condition is entered as always, which means this rung will be instantiated always. This rung is not required if user choose to instantiate the valve implement in main routine. So if the name entered in the routine name parameter is main routine, then this rung should not be instantiated. I'll enter the condition to instantiate this rung only if the routine name parameter is not equal to main routine. Next is to set the usage. This rung is to be included only once. So I'll select the usage as include once. So if another library object is instantiated in the same routine, the ACM will not add another jump subroutine rung. Click on the main routine. Here also I'll change the usage as include once. So there is only one main routine inserted. I'll go back to the main page. Next, I'll open the external references. An external reference makes the value of a local tag, controller tag or tag member within a library object accessible to parameters in other library object. Here, I'll add external reference for command open, command close, command reset and output energized. To add an external reference, click on the add new button. I'll name the external reference as command close. Data type as boolean. I'll open the expression builder. First is to add the program name dot tag name parameter dot command close click ok description click ok the external reference can also be added using the tag browser i'll open the instance name tag right click on the parameter for which external reference is required I'll right click on command open, select add external reference. You can notice most of the fields are pre-filled. I'll just add the program name. Also the comments and click OK. I'll go back to the external reference page to show you the command. Follow similar steps to add the reference for command reset and output energized. The program name in the value is required only if the instance name tag usage is selected as public type parameter in the logics. Next I'll add the link libraries. Since the asset portion like add-on instruction data types are needed, in the link library I'll link the RAM device valve asset type library. To link click on the add new button. Select the library to be linked. If the library is in another database, use the connect to database button to connect to the database. I'll name the link name similar to the library name.
since this is an asset type library it is mandatory i will select true the revision field is to ensure that the correct revision of link library is linked i will enter the revision as 1 which means the major revision of 1 is required the minor revision will not be considered enter the instance name which will be same as the library name click ok we are done adding the logics content in this library click apply to apply the changes i will publish the library into acm database to publish right click on the library name and select publish library i will select the current acm database the library can be published into another database that is not active or in a folder click ok in the library import configuration configure the status revision history and details while the library is under development the status can be kept as pending keeping a library pending lets others inform that this library is under development and can be published any number of times without incrementing the major and minor revision i'll select the status as pending Modify the owner as Rockwell Automation. Click OK to publish. Now the library is published. Click OK to close the library designer. Save the ACD file and close it. I have opened the ACM to show you the library. You can notice the RMLD valve library. The tool symbol means the library is still under pending. The next step in the implement library decoration is to add the navigation objects for faceplate. The implement object will generate the navigation object with connections configured. I have factory talk view machine edition application opened here. The valve faceplate and global object is already added. I'll open the global objects for valve. You can notice that in the valve we have two choice of navigation object, a default one and a detailed two state valve with animation and status. In the library I have already added a parameter as object callout selection with drop down list as default and two state valve. This parameter gives user choice to select the navigation object to be generated. Copy the navigation object and paste it on the main display. Change the object position as 0 by 0. I'll rename the group as Geo Valve Default. Next, I'll add a text display. I'll rename the text object as Inf Text One. The text here will be replaced by the object instance name, so it's easy to identify the instance of the navigation object. Repeat the same steps for the next navigation object. I'll rename the group as GeoValve2State. Rename the text object as infText2. Save the main display and close it. I'll export the main display. The main display is now exported successfully. Next, I'll open the library object manager. 
in the library object manager right click on the repositories select add repository and click acm select the database where the implement library object is published i have published the implement library object in mbl demo db i'll click ok select the implement library next we will add the ft view section in the library to add right click on the library name select add section ft view we have ft view section now right click on the mb symbols and select add select the display which we have exported from ft view you can notice we have both the navigation object groups as well as the inf text i'll first select the navigation object for default and the inf text one click ok when a display content is added into the library the library object manager includes the controller name and object name in the name sections like group name button name and text name this is done to give a unique name for every object in ft view thus when a object name is generated it will include the controller and object name there is a possibility that this name exceeds the maximum character limit in ft view and can cause error while importing the display to avoid such conditions i'll remove the controller name an easy method to do the same is to copy the text in a text editor like notepad and search and remove the controller name since here there are only four occurrences of controller name i'll modify the same here using the find function press control f to open the find function enter controller name in the search field press find next i'll remove the controller name find next close the find function next step is to link the parameter connections in the backing tag parameter enter the following here i have entered the area path which comes from the controller properties in acm program name is the program where the object is instantiated and tag name parameter enter the following in the navigation button label this is the object instance name which will be used as the navigation button label enter the display left and top position now we are done with the parameter connections the next step is to link the object name to the inf text here in the caption replace the inf text with object name the next step is to modify the include conditions as we have two navigation object we want only one to be instantiated based on the object callout selection parameter to modify the same click on the expression builder double click on the object callout selection parameter enter the expression now we are done adding the wall default navigation object i'll repeat the same step to add the next navigation object to remove the controller name i'll use the notepad++ text editor first press control a to select all the text control c to copy the text i have notepad++ opened here i'll paste the text here copy controller name object name text open find and replace function the find function will find controller name object name and replace it with just object name i'll press replace all close the replace function as you can see the controller name is now removed i'll select all and copy the text go back to library object manager delete the existing text here and paste the content what we copied from notepad 
I will modify the parameter similar to what we have done in the default object. Modify the include condition. Now we are done adding the two state wall navigation object. Similar steps can be followed to add the SE symbols. Click apply to apply the changes. Since we have done all the changes, the library can be published this time. Change the status as published. Enter the revision description as release. Click OK to publish in the library. I will open the application code manager. Here you can see the implement library RAMLDVAL. In the FT view section you can also notice the ME symbols. I will instantiate the RAMLDVAL object in ACM to show you the final output. When instantiated in ACM, the object will have default name as RAMLDVAL and default description. I will modify it as V100. The routine name and tag name since linked to the object name, so they also update. This can be modified if required. The output unpowered state will have a drop down as normally open or normally close. The output energized can be linked to a digital channel, digital module or a text can be entered which can be later created as a tag in the logics. Similarly, the object callout selection will have a choice as default or two state val. These fields is to select the display where the navigation object is to be placed. In the link library, user will need to create an instance of RAM device valve asset type library. Only one instance of asset type library is required in a project. So no action in the link library will be needed when another instance of implement is added. To understand further about instantiating the library and generating the HMI and controller, watch the ACM workflow basics video series. Thanks for watching the video.